Hi, I'm Kurt from Buck and Simple Architects and we're going to go for a walk through the Wagstaff House. Before we get into the house, this is pretty good too, the view. Yeah, it is, it is. This is the whole reason we were here. This is what the client showed me and told me about. What was it about the area that the owner loved? Yeah, so they were looking for a change, a life change. Their, um, their kids were leaving, they were um, downsizing, they were looking for somewhere new to go to. And uh, this felt like a smaller, happier, simpler way of life compared to where they were living in the city. The brief was really quite modest in the rooms and the styles of rooms and things like that. We wanted everything to be really familiar. We didn't want to reinvent how a house works. We just wanted to make a really good version of what they already had. So we've got a lot of recycled timber. Uh, this is all black butt inside and out. We're using brick and concrete uh, and then steel wherever we could. So um, a powder coat finish. Oh, wow. Oh, good. So this is our modest little entry, um, but we're using a technique we, quite, we like to use quite a bit, which is a, a compression as you come in. So it resets how you, fit, how you feel in the space and it allows you to come open and expand into the view and into the upstairs. I love that. It is a, it's quite a moment and you have even created individual moments as well. That's quite <laughs> special, being able to pull out pieces. Your lighting is great. I love the way that feels. Oh, it's the marking as well on the uh, concrete. Like, it's just very raw. Yeah. It feels industrial, but there's something very... Um... The materials are all very honest. So they've got their own texture and they've got their own colour to it. So everything's clear finished if you can do it. It's, um, yeah, it's nice to actually pick a material and then allow it to do its thing. This is something else, <laughs> something else. So talk to me about this space. Like, what was this all about? How did yeah. you even start? Yeah, so as I was saying, we wanted familiar techniques and familiar forms and things. So we've gone right down to the trusses and the timber and the, the lining board walls, all things that you'd recognize from, from good houses uh, and pulled it through in a way that uh, is flowing and talks to each other, but modest. But uh, it's the actual form and the sculpture of it that is exciting. I mean, uh, you new. say modest in terms of scale, and yes, mm. it is, but it has such an open, grand feeling to it because yeah. of its, you know, height, because of that view, because of the windows. Mm. Like, it just, it feels big. It feels bigger than it is. Mm. Black butt, again, repeat it. Yeah, black butt everywhere, recycled where we could. Um, and obviously, these trusses are all fabricated off site and brought in this size. And these are structural? Yes. Yeah, these are structural black butt from, um, from AA Hardwoods up north. And what was it about the view in particular? You, were you trying to frame certain areas? Like what was the sense with your windows and how you incorporated that? Yeah, it was quite tricky to frame it. So the luxury of having an empty site when you turn up, uh, especially a hilly site, is that you can stand at your finished levels and you can look out and so you get literally exactly where you can frame it. And in our case, we had views off to the right, which was the escarpment over there, uh, and all the way around to the left, but we had little picture angles of each one. So, so we had to kind of reverse, reverse design how each one of these rooms is gonna look out. Um, so we were picking things like these trees in the middle of the water view as our central piece, and we've skewed the building off to that. We've got windows over on the east that face up to the um, escarpment that gets the afternoon sun. So it took a few visits, to anticipate all these sort of things. Yeah. Uh, with much help from the client, they would come back from a visit and say, well, no. actually we were there in the afternoon. Yeah. The light's better, we need to have a look this way. They've created, so, um, through that, you've created artworks and moments, much like mm. the artwork that's throughout. It's literally everywhere you look is, is, is its own special. It's the moving artwork, yeah. yeah. And talk to me as well about here, because you've got this extension of the deck. Mm -hmm. What was your decision process around that? Oh, sure. Well, it was a practical response and an aesthetic one, but um, there we go. Oh. The practical response was we needed to clean the windows. So we wanted something that was very realistic in, in keeping up the maintenance of it. So um, you can't have large glass a story up without, no. a, without a solution of how we're going to clean it. So we wanted access out here, but we didn't want it to be a furniture place and we didn't want to clutter the view from the inside. So um, 
we've kept all the furniture inside where it can be nice finishes and uh, looking out just to this little access area so it's it's good for a coffee or a... It's pretty much all you need and I actually like the fact that you've done that from a functionality mm. standpoint and it's more about being able to access those. There's nothing worse than designing beautiful big windows and then as soon as something happens, yeah. you know, you can't clean them. But you do have larger eaves. I've yeah, so is that so also to try and protect We talked the about timber externally, so yeah. it's to protect the, um, the timber actually. Okay. So we're trying to keep the, the cladding in shade, and we're trying yes. to keep it out of the weather, so it's not getting humidity and then getting out of it all the time. Is it fairly protected here though, like in terms of weather, or can it get quite Yeah, brutal? well the weather comes from the back in the south, Okay. but um, but it still does affect and you get that degrading of the timber down the, um, yeah. the facade if it's... um if it's not protected, so we do, this is a forever house. Yeah. And we need the timber to last a long time. And speaking of that, when did you finish this project? Uh, well, I think it was 2021. Right, so how has the timber fared? Like, are you happy with how it's weathered yeah, yeah. and coloured over time? Yeah, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Oh, and that's what your, your end goal was? Yeah. You're like, you knew what it was going to look like? Exactly, that's the that's the, the image that we started with and we were, we were working towards. I love it. And talk to me about this piece over here as well, this bit of joinery. Yeah, so we moved from uh, a big house to a downsizing into this later stage house. And we had a lot of things that were on display that needed to bring through, a lot of furniture. Yes. So we wanted to make a new version of it that wasn't so complex and spread out and that sort of thing. So these pieces started to get really important because they were the, the select criteria and it only made it to the shelf here. And was that something specifically that the homeowners were like, look, we do have this stuff, we need places to put up exactly, things on yeah. display you and know, so without necessarily cluttering with lots of furniture? Yeah, and they had to actually remove a lot of those things. It was a culling process about what, oh. could, make the, what could make the nice shelves. Um, but yeah, being in the main room, and we don't have many open walls in here because there's so much glass, yeah. um, this really was a display piece. And I always do like a clever placement of the TV that can <laughs> easily be hidden away. I mean, TVs, you need them, right? Mm -hmm. But you also don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're always considering a couch with a view and a TV at the yes. same time and trying to angle to allow both. I love it. All right, let the, let the joy continue. Can we explore this kitchen? I feel like I quickly... Uh, rushed out of there but this mm -hmm. island is sensational for one and i love that tap it's like the type of my dreams yeah well it's solid timber uh the joiner did an amazing job um it's it's very heavy yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's not going anywhere the good thing it's a forever home <laughs> yeah but uh as you can see the finish is held up really nice um, and then you've got this, um, again, this kind of vertical detail. So you've got that throughout. I like the way mm. you've been consistent with that throughout all the walls, continuing into your cabinetry as well. Yeah, so this frequency is based on, on the lining cladding that we've got, but we so um, brought it into all the joinery so that it would... Um, That's really smart. Up. That's really smart. And there's just, I mean, to be in this kitchen and that view, that's mm -hmm. what it's all about. This is the, the practicalities of having a back of house kitchen. <laughs> you need That's somewhere. That's so good though. This is a really good size. Yeah. A really good size. And the fact that you have this as well to kind of close it all off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you design these bunks? Uh, yeah, we put it all together. Um, wow. I love it. Talk to me about what you were thinking in terms of design. What did you want to Well, this? it's just obviously everything's solid. Everything can be beaten up. We don't want um, people pointing fingers at who, who scratched the bunk sort of thing. So it has to be able to handle everything. Um, Beautiful detail. Um, your joiner did all of, like, who put this together? Uh, the guy who did the island bench. The was guy different. that he did the island worker. bed, yeah, he yeah. came in and did the bunks. Yeah. He's done a beautiful job. Mm. Even that sort of subtle tapering, it's just mm. got such simple just detail. Just softened it. When you think kids, you think getting caught on things, well, getting falling the off thing. things. It makes it a bit more soft. And that black butt again through there on that yeah. little landing, like, that's just sensational. Mm. So the brick continues out here. Yeah, and this was um, this was probably the most talked about part element of this design. So we've invented an elevated courtyard. Um, we found that a lot of these sort of tree houses and elevated places on a view feel so disassociated with the ground plane. So the whole 
architectural side of it was to build our own new ground plane up where we were going to be living. So that. as you walk out, it's not timber, it doesn't bounce, it's not light, it feels so permanent. And this is now your outdoors. This is, this is what you get. This is something else. So is that fireplace. <laughs> The stones are sensational. There's a story behind the stones as well, isn't there? Yeah, well, they were, um, they were basically the only thing the site offered us as far as built existing work. So there was a pile of these rocks in the backyard um, and we offered it up to the stonemason to, to see how far they could go. We didn't even know if we could get a whole chimney out This is it. more than just a pile of rocks, Kurt. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is incredible. So was yeah. there a fair bit of cleaning and prepping to get them into this shape? I know he was here for a very long time. <laughs> so oh, um, so that yeah, is I think there was. just magnificent. That and really is something Clients else. always fall in love with the stonemasons because they see how hard they work because they're there every day on their hands and knees with their Aren't primitive they tools and they just bash it into shape. Yeah. And then you just leave them to their own devices. Yeah, I tend to do that a bit. <laughs> Trust. It's hard work. Trust that they know what they're doing. Here's the main oh, bathroom. Beautiful. So main bathroom. Mm -hmm. I love the floor. That terrazzo is that's the tones of that are fantastic. Very Yeah, warm quite and earthy. They go with the timber. Yeah. And the brass finishes on all the fixtures. They're quite elevated here. Like you've then, it still works with the house, mm. but you've kind of come into this calmer, slightly more sophisticated, mm. neutral palette, but it works really well with the earthy bricks and the timbers. Mm. And the bedroom through here. So this is the second bedroom, not the master. No, this is the guest bedroom. Guest bedroom. So they, um, the idea of moving away from Sydney, but close enough that the kids could visit. Yes. Was the idea that they could always come and stay here, but um. Tell you what, I hope the kids visit. I'd be visiting all the time if this was my parents' house. Gosh, I love this chair too. Oh my gosh. They've done such a great job with all of the decor. Mm. So, and the artwork as well. You must be happy with that. Yeah, it's great to see them complete it like this. It's um, very thorough. When you can kind of design a house and then it gets filled with mm. such further beauty, that's mm. very special. So we've got uh, our public area with all the living spaces in it and um, we're about to pass into the, um, the private area which is their wing which um, basically if you're a guest you're not meant to be past this threshold. This is, uh, this is it. <laughs> this is where Just we imagine uh, you know an imaginary a rope here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a velvet rope keeping you out of, out of their private life. And so you've got this brick extending. Yeah so it's visually it's, it extends from the courtyard uh, deck all the way through passed out to the back door. So the laundry through there and it goes out. So there's like there's an acoustic quality that changes. There there's is, an unevenness yeah. so it's like you know you're you're passing through to another space. I love that. Mm. It does feel, and it feels open, it feels lighter, and the fact that you've got this, it almost is like you're walking out into a different home. It's almost as if you're going yeah. outside. I love it. Yeah, this draws air through when, it's, um, when the North East Debris has come through, so. Oh. This location is something else. I am quite jealous. Um, but speaking of something else, oh my goodness, the timber, is absolutely sensational and it is the hero of this space and we're chatting before how nice is it looking out onto that artwork as soon as you walk yeah into so this bedroom? yeah it was quite deliberate as a as a sort of privacy uh, barrier that yeah. it would be arrived and met with something just in case someone does go over in case that they velvet, down <laughs> that <Yeah>. velvet rope <laughs> yeah, exactly. it is that nice sense of privacy because then this it, it creates a very secluded space for another beautiful view as well and again same consideration with these uh doors yeah and also with the requirements for the fall risk it's quite tricky to um to design bedroom windows that can open this much. So with a Juliet balcony off, yeah. that is your fall restraint and this is just a window. So we've got a 50% open wall here. That is just, I mean, that's special <laughs> is all I can say. The landscaping is so great. It is that's amazing. That's grown yeah. up probably a lot since you were last here. Are yeah. you happy with it? I'm very happy with it. It's, um, it takes a lot of time and effort, as everyone knows. Uh, and it's great to see it come all the way through. It really does finish off the house so incredibly well. It's one of those hard things, whereas sometimes people can't justify it in the budget. They've probably mm -hmm. gone over budget during yep. the build. Did your client, did they go over the budget? Did they squeeze a little more think, out for the garden? I think the garden was a little bit extra than they wanted to go to, but um, I was very glad that they did. I think, you know, it is special and I think gardens need time mm. and to actually invest that money uh, and go a little bit over, but then to be able to enjoy it now, I think uh, 
I think they've done well. So behind here, obviously, I'm assuming we've got robes. Yes, So we've we got plenty of storage. Walk through, his and hers. Uh, good size. <laughs> a very good size. It just feels good. The lighting is great. Yes. The way that you've lit up the walls, even those trusses with that beautiful up light. Really, really smart. And oh, sweet mother of bathroom. <laughs> this is... I mean, this is just, this is excellent. I'm lost for words a little bit. I love a lot. I love this. Mm. I love the tile again, consistent with the other one, but I mean, it's far more luxurious because of that view, because of the placement. What was your consideration with the designing of this space? Well, yeah, we've kept the palette down to those, really those four sort of timbers, brasses, and then these matching uh, tones of white. Um, but the, the view out to remain private, you can see here we've sunk back from the bedroom wall. Yes. So that we can have a full wall in a bathroom, which is quite rare. Yes. And, um, and still see out to this water and this view. It is very private, mm. which you do need in a bathroom. And I mean, the houses are next to each other, but there is a great sense of privacy mm. in this space. Very grand in scale. A great size for your shower and for your mm. bath as well. And you've got probably more of an extended deck area here though. Yeah, well that actually, it helped again with this window cleaning, but it also helped us get this privacy a little bit further out. Yeah, gosh, I like this treatment as well. Mm. Gosh, that's beautiful. Just framing your neighbours. They're not allowed in. <laughs> but I'm sure everyone's friends in Wagstaff. I've got a feeling that everybody will know everyone I around think, here. <laughs> I don't think it took long to settle into the empire. <laughs> This is, you've got plenty of barn doors throughout this home. I'm, I'm yeah, we, on these uh, sliding doors. We talked about the practicalities of, um, of a couple living and then having guests coming 5% of the time or 10% of the year. Yes. Uh, and so these barn doors obviously aren't acoustic. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're not keeping anything out, but if it's just two of you, then it's fine. Then it doesn't so matter. So they're satisfying it. And anyone who's a guest can actually um, uh, put up with it. They get what they're served. <laughs> this is a good size laundry as well. Again, it's modest, but it's got everything you mm. need. Oh, such a good job of the landscaping. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a great surprise when they <gasps> Gosh, they've grown up incredibly. Look at the height of them. Oh, and you've got your wood storage. Oh, this is beautiful. Gosh, it's a whole nother journey around here, Kurt. Mm. I like how it's very meandering, how you yeah, kind of ramble the... around the house there. Yeah, we've almost uh, given up the, the open backyard yeah. for, for this meandering, falling, stepping I love that though. Story. Yeah, which is quite nice. Obviously highly practical, a lot of the yes, things still behind Yes, hiding you. a few things around there. And then through, we've just got more, you've got a garage through there. Yeah, the garage is through there. This is a little piano room that we had to keep out of the sun um, okay. and a study. Uh, but I think the study's mostly done upstairs with a view. Yeah, yeah. gosh, this is absolutely sensational. What's your favourite part of this home? I think, um, I think the purity of the image of these two uh, pitched roof forms coming out over this solid, uh, as I was sort of saying, a podium uh, courtyard space. I think that was our really key element that we were trying to hold on to from the start. And um, it's still here. So it's, um, yeah, I think that's highly successful in how to live on a hill with a view. And what did the homeowners say once it was all done? Oh, they're still very happy. <laughs> they are? Yeah, every time we talk, they're, um, they're saying, and thank you again. Oh, that's <laughs> so it's, wonderful. It's really nice to have I'd that. be thanking you probably once a month for a couple of <laughs> years, I reckon, Kurt, if, I, if this was my home. It really is sensational. Well done. Thank you.